How y'all doing? This is Charles, the chef again. Uh, today we're going to make bourbon pecan pie. Uh, the holidays are fastly approaching. And, you know, we're going to make all kinds of desserts. Sweet potato pies, pecan pie, bourbon pecan pie, chocolate pecan pie, coconut pecan pie. So, there's a lot of stuff we're going to get into before the holidays. And the good thing about it, you get to try all this stuff before Thanksgiving. So, we're going to get started. Now, with this bourbon pecan pie, you're definitely going to need bourbon. Okay? Definitely going to need that. You got to have bourbon to make the bourbon pecan pie. Okay, we got three eggs. And we got a cup of sugar. Half a cup of brown, half a cup of white. We got um, Cairo syrup. We got the dog. And we got, we got that good stuff here. Okay? Then we got another flavor. We got two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Got two cups of pecan. And you're going to need a nine-inch pie pan. All right. Let's get busy. All right, we're going to put our sugar in first. Sugar goes in. Two tablespoons of flour also goes in. We're going to go ahead and put our butter in there also. And we're going to put our corn syrup in. Now, this bourbon corn pie is not going to make you drunk. But the taste of it is going to really excite you. When you're baking with alcohol or cooking with alcohol, all the alcohol be cooked away. And all you get is that good taste of that alcohol, whatever kind you're cooking it with. So, don't think you can't serve this to the young ones. You can. Okay, we're going to start this up. Now we're going to go ahead and cut it off and straight, straight down. I'm going to scrape it down to make sure we get the sugar and everything mixed in together. And once we do that, we're going to add eggs and we're going to be ready to pan. Oh, how much. I believe you can smell that good bourbon. Don't get the cheap kind now. Go ahead and get some good bourbon because you ain't going to put it all in the pie. You're going to want to drink some of it, okay? 
I'm gonna go ahead and go third gear. Let's get that mixed up quite well before we start A and One at a time and come back down first, but we don't want to make a mess. Add hey, one egg at a time. And when you can't see the egg anymore, then you add the next egg. Okay, I'll be up about right to me. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna go into the oven with it. Set our oven for 50 minutes. And we're gonna come back. Take a look at it. If we need the rest of the time, we'll put it on there. If we don't, we're good to go. Everybody oven bakes a little different. Some bake faster, some bake poor. That's why I don't never want you to put your, the time that your recipe calls on your oven. Let me you know your oven. You know your oven? Go ahead and put the time on there. But I'm going to go ahead and put mine in at 50 minutes. Come back, check it. 50 minutes if it needs that other 5 or 10 minutes. I'll add it. But if it don't, I'll take it out. Okay, we're going to set it for 50 minutes. And we'll see you right back here in about 50. Hello, we're back. About 50 minutes, and we're ready to come out with it. Look at that, look at that, y'all. Bourbon pecan pie. Now, the smell on this thing is incredible. I just wish you were here to smell it with me. But now that you know how to make it, then you can get this good smell at home. Now, we're going to come back. Once it's cool, it takes about an hour, two hours, for it to cool down. We're going to slice it, and we're going to taste test it. Oh, but the smell, you can't beat that. Now, if you see anything you like, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We'll definitely appreciate it. Um, we're going to come back another video, show you how to make coconut pecan pie. We already got a video on there how to make chocolate pecan pie. And we're going to do sweet potatoes. We're going to do apple. We're going to get you ready for the holidays. But don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all very much. Okay, we're back for the taste test. We're going to go ahead and cut a slice out of it. You want a knife with a saw blade on it, but you kind of won't saw it because the pecans, they will sink down in your pot. Get a little caramel on there if you want to choose to put that on your salsa. The hint of bourbon is coming through. And I really don't have to tell you about the pecan pie. Crisp on the bottom. So roast the pecans on top. Get a unique taste. You will really love this. This bourbon with pine pie. So just try it. And if you see something you like, press the like button. Subscribe button. Thank you all.